Hello, Lisa here over at MadeDreamRose.com, and I'm just here to kind of give you a roundup of all the cards that I have been making in the past two months, I can, or maybe it's just been a month, I don't know. Anyways, it feels like it's been way long since I've made a card, so um, I thought I'd give you a kind of a rundown of what I've made, and oh my gosh, I'm loving these stamps. Uh, Blue Knight, Rubber Stamping Company, got, um, uh, let me... <laughs> choose like four stamps and uh i couldn't choose this four so i had to get more uh but anyways um so thank you blue knight for sponsoring these blog posts they've been really fun to make uh so anyways they i, I love their stamps they're they're um deep etched meaning that there's a it's a nice stamp nice quality stamp and it's it's thick rubber. So, anyways, and foam. So you get a nice impression. I I did use my Misty, but honestly, with using the Strathmore mixed media paper cut down to size and then stamping it with archival ink, all these stamps, all these impressions have turned out great. And I've only needed to do like one imprint of the stamp. So I am loving that because usually it takes me like three times to stamp <laughs> one item. Anyways, um. So I thought I'd share with you kind of my thoughts. Uh, this one, this stamp I love because it reminds me of a friend and um, my husband, back when I first met him, was a blue puck. And so, uh, and it's just fun. And we live in Iowa with lots of green fields and the sunsets are just always beautiful. So this reminds me of um, way back when my husband and I were dating. <laughs> it's fun. Okay, on to the next one. This one is also one of my favorites. I I love the sailboat. I've never been on a sailboat, but it's like one of those mystery things that I would love to do someday. Um, anyways, and I know a lot of friends that boat and that love to be on the lake like all weekend. So I thought, oh, this will be a fun card to send to, to a friend. And I, I enjoyed doing this nice little watercolor um, scene. And I could really let the colors just blend. It was it's a nice card and then I used a border a black border to to frame the, the the card so anyways it works and I like it I don't need a sentiment I'm gonna leave it blank for when I need a thinking of you card or a hey just whatever okay so then when I was thinking about that I thought you know this is such a pretty stamp I kind of want to do just a black and white one uh, like this and sorry for the glare um, but then have this little thing right here. So what I did was, conceptualizing this, I thought, oh, it'd be fun to just have this black. So then you see the big, you see the color. And so, like, I was thinking of a graduation card for this, actually, when I was making it, is enjoy the journey. You don't know what's going to happen in your life, but there's going to be beautiful sunsets, beautiful moments in your life, and that's what this stuff is done. So might be cheesy or a little over the top but i i just i love it and i don't i just think it's fun so anyways isn't that cute i just love how that turned out <laughs> and again this was a blue knight stamp and then this was a tailored expressions um yeah, right here wonderful world and it, it's it's been a great lifesaver i've had a lot of I've used some cards with that sentiment set. So, anyways, fun card. <laughs> okay, on to these, the horse ones. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I know, because I live in Iowa, I live in, well, I used to live in rural Iowa, like the port capital of the world, Hardin County, Iowa. <laughs> and we, had, there was a lot of horses, tons of uh, uh, swine farms. And, uh, anyways, fun times. We since moved back to the city and I sometimes miss those sunsets and those country nights. But so I'm always thinking of sunsets when I think of silhouette stamps, which this one is. I, I wanted to show you this stamp because you get two choices. You can have just the, tr the bare tree or you can add the leaves to the tree. Or if you just need little clusters of leaves, you can add that one too. But this was the, the background is done with brushos and I just used... I believe like crimson red and a little bit of yellow and then the yellow and the crimson red blended into this orange. You can't control brushers, so you really have no idea what you're going to get. You just can assume that it will blend and it will look nice and 
anyways, I have a friend, a dear friend that um, calls every time when she needs to go some to let off some stress, she goes to her horse and she calls it horse therapy. And I asked her, I'm like, is that a real thing? And she's like, I don't think so, but maybe. But anyways, so I was thinking of her when I was painting these. Um, again, a more softer sunset. But I love the purple with the yellow, and um, purple and yellow are complementary colors, so it really works well. And then, of course, I find it with a die cut. Same thing, I wanted a winter type look. I did heat emboss this, and it works. Uh, this was with Kiritake watercolors, and I just used the purple and the blue set and added a lot of water to make the sunset and sky, and it works. Here's another one with Hirataki watercolor, and this was with just the pink and the yellow, and it makes that really pretty orangish pink. And it just, it's an easy, fun card, and I can't wait to, you can almost make this in a set for like a horse, for anyone who loves horses. It's just a great stamp. I just, I can't get over, I just love it because you get two different looks when, when you use the leaves and without the leaves. So, yeah, fun times. <laughs> All right, on to the barn stamp. Oh my gosh, I'm such a sucker for barns. It's not even funny. Uh, so it's, I want to show you the back of the stamp because the back of the stamp is kind of, it, it, it's awesome actually. Um, but when you're stamping, if you don't get the top of the barn straight, it's going to look way crooked when you stamp it. So I've had to, on my Misty, use my guides to really make sure that this farm roof is straight. And so what will happen is, is this will be more like crooked. So this is straight and this goes way, this dips down a bit more. So just so you know, but I love it. And the reason why I love the stamp, and I'm not trying to sell you guys, but the reason why I love it is because you have this perfect spot right here for a sentiment or like I did, I just wanted the texture of the grass of the watercolor to act as grass so I didn't have to do a whole lot and then I just added um pigment around the sky for the sky and it's just a fun stamped color it really is so there's there's my first one my second one of course I wanted to think of more of a sympathy so that's what I did and it works um a different coloring different just different ways of coloring it. I was just playing around seeing what I liked. Uh, but it works. This works. I really liked it. All right. And Memory Bound in Ankeny, Iowa has a designer that designed Iowa stamps for us. And I'm loving the Iowa stamps. They are, I don't know. I thought maybe they were handy, but they're not. Uh, oh, they're right here. Uh, so anyways, I have all my seasonal stamps hanging up on this like Ikea kitchen rod for utensils. Anyways, it works great. Uh, these are the Iowa stamps. And so they're, they work. They're nice. I've made a couple stamp, a couple cards with these Iowa stamps. Anyways, that is the Iowa stamps with us Iowans love our barns. I don't know. I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Maybe other states love their barns too, but definitely Iowa is all about barns. Okay, so the dirt road. I thought this was such a fun, fun card to stamp to make into a card. I thought, oh, I could use that for anything. And honestly, what I want to do is I want to get a stamp that says, just like right here, that says, you know, God bless the broken road um, that led me straight to you. The Rascal Fox song. Uh, because I just love it. There's so many things in this world that I just need to feel uplifted and I'm sorry but a dirt road just like brings peace to my soul <laughs> more so than almost anything else it just makes me happy so this is one of my happy stamps that I love I'm going to use it for art journaling and actually I have I'll show you with the barn and with well so there's there's another thing I did with my Stamps. Let me find the barn. The barn and the dirt road. Oh my gosh, you guys. Here we go. So, the barn and the dirt road, and I'll probably just either do a simple inking or watercolor background, and then I have a lot of space to write 
and that's what I'm going to do. And this is my summer art journal, so it's definitely not filled. I just started it, but it gives you, and then, uh, yeah, it's just an art journal. It's fun. So there you go. Another use for those stamps. It's fun. I'm saying fun a lot. Anyways, it's beautiful and unique. Here's another one. I just um, wanted to make sure that blue sky was just a little bit light. So I used a blue background for for that. And then the frame again from Taylor, from the Tailored Expressions die cut frame set. There's another one. I, I added some yellow right here and with more green because uh, I was more green than then yellow during the summer and it's summertime so I'll be using this for the summer. Okay on to the wedding cards from these are all from Blue Night stamps too just so you know. Um, here's the dirt road stamp and I uh, it's very detailed and then I have the sailboat which the coloring isn't too bad, but the stamp, if you just look at behind the stamp, I always like to look up behind the stamp. You can tell that there's a lot of nice detail and you can get, you can do some fun things with, with stamps like that. Uh, all right. So here's the wedding stamp. It's pretty simple. Um, I will say I did have a little bit of issue with, with this. So I might cut that out just so I don't have to worry about that, but it's not, that big deal. it worked out well. They're a deep etched stamps really do a good job. Anyways, I wanted something very simple, very um, sketchy looking. So I used my Starry Color watercolor. And this was the gold. So this is Starry Colors. And this is the, it comes in a set of six. Again, you know how I love shimmer. Uh, and I believe I used the red gold for this card. But I just wanted it to be simple and elegant. I'm still looking for a sentiment maybe right here, or I might just open it up, leave it the way it is, because I like the black and white with the gold. I just I just think it's very elegant, and I don't really want to mess with it. I'll put a sentiment right here. So anyways, there's that one. Very simple. Again, it's fairly minimalistic, but it definitely shows off the stamp and shows off your artistic ability. So it's kind of fun. Here's another one. I just wanted to add a little bit of pink. But if your wedding colors were not pink or maybe they were, I don't know, blue or red, you could do a like a blue monochrome type um, painting with that. But I did have fun shading the with the black. That was that was a fun, fun time. All right, last one, and then I'll go. And I feel like I've talked way too much. A shaker card, the same stamp, same idea. I just used a shaker card. Um, with white and um, silver sequins, which I got at Hobby Lobby. And then I used uh, this, so you want double-sided foam for this, and then you need a clear cover, which you can use. I used the, the covers that you use for binding. That's what I used. Uh, but so yeah, it makes for a simple card. It's kind of fun. I, you know, I was thinking, oh, if I had, if I had someone that was maybe getting married, the second time and already had kids like little kids or whatever I have a friend that just got married and she has uh, two kids I thought oh well this would be a fun card for for the for the kids to play with and, and put it in their room or whatever but that was the idea behind this card um, and I will probably put a small sentiment right here just because the sequence does does hide most of the of the bottom of the stamp but you get the idea it's fun it's a fun card Anyways, it should be coming down. They're not. But anyways, you get the idea. It's fun. Uh, so anyways, that's what I've been working on. Uh, watercolor is fun. The one thing I will say about watercolor is keep practicing and you'll get there. And my favorites right now, the favorite mediums that I'm working right now in are the scribble sticks. This was done as scribble sticks with the Nina Denise Weekly scribble sticks. Media scribble sticks. There you go. Um, and I love them. They are fantastic. Look at how vibrant those colors are. So, anyways, that's been my favorite lately. And the Prima watercolors are a nice addition to that. And then um, that's what I've been playing with. So, anyways, if you have questions or comments, let me know. I'd love to hear them. And we'll talk to you soon. Happy creating.